To finish this course, we want you to sit, relax, and watch the last video with us. Feel free to take notes as you watch it. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Here we are about to start the class. We are going to, let me see here. We are going to continue with section five. So we're just going to wait for the rest to join the class. Let's see. Hello, good evening, Estela. Hello, good evening, Diego. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good, good. Okay, glad to Thank hear you. that. Yes, fine. Thank you for asking. Um, we are about to start the class. We are just waiting for the rest. I don't know if you have any question, any of you, any doubt, any comment. Any question no, right no. now? No questions. Okay, perfect. So we are going to start right now the class uh, with section five, right? Let me see here. So in this case, uh, it says here 50 years of fats. That's what we were studying yesterday, like trends, right? That we used to have two decades, like Barbies and dances and toys and shows, right, in series that we have studied before. Uh, so as a homework, I ask you to investigate about a trend that you have lived or probably something that you have uh, experienced, right, that you like, that you remember, and that is not um, available, it's not that popular anymore. So as an example, I provide you this, right, I, the ones that I remember, right, like Game Boys, Toys, uh, Tamagotchis, right, uh, blackberries that is uh, I think that it doesn't exist anymore that that cell phone so it's it's just some things that I remember that yesterday we we were talking about so I don't know if you have, you if you have investigated some of these trends or something that you have 
uh, like a game or a toy or a series that was really popular before and it's not that popular right now. I don't know if you have investigated something about this. Anyone? Anyone investigated something related to this? Rodrigo, Daniel, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Okay, did you investigate any trend, anything that you remember probably when you were a kid or something like that? Uh, one that I remember is mm -hmm. the Pokemon cards, so Pokemon uh, Tassos, ¿cómo se dice? Let me see here, Tassos. Yes, I remember that well, that was really popular, right? And it was only uh, for Pokemons? Well, I remember it was the most popular. <laughs> yeah. But there were about other, other one. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards too. Yes, exactly. Yes, I will investigate that because I never, I never uh, heard like Tassos in English, I don't remember, but I will investigate that because that's a word that I didn't know. But I will investigate it here. Let me write it down. And next class, I will I will check it. Okay, let me see here. Okay, good evening, Rafael, Antonio, Cesar, Eliu. Good evening, good evening okay. teacher. Good evening. Uh, did you investigate any trend, for example, anything that you used to? Well, yesterday, uh, Rafael was asking, was was telling us, right, that uh, he was he used to listen to dance uh, disco music, and he used to dance disco music. I don't know if anybody else investigated any of these trends. Okay, I have my trend. Okay, did why you... did you investigate it, Ilion? Well, uh, when I was a, a child of seven, of seven year olds, mm -hmm. I in a in a Christmas in a period of, uh, at Christmas, my grandma my grandmother took me to a to the to a, a, a store to a big store, mm -hmm. uh, really to the mercado to the mark to the popular market mm -hmm. and they were uh, in that place I saw that they were selling a, a electric train mm -hmm. a electric train that that train that uh, that uh, tr that uh, launches smoke and and go in a roll right roll and mm -hmm. uh, circling the one determinated area mm -hmm. And I was excited to see that toy. My my grandma. Uh, I was crying because my grandma uh, couldn't buy for me. And I, 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 until now I know that he, she, she didn't have money in that period of time. Mm -hmm. So, the year passed. Many years. Uh, so on this day. Somebody, somebody need money, and he he go to my home with a train. It it similar like the train that I that I saw when I was a boy when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I I I bought the the train and and began to to play with the train in the in the living room. And my wife was looking at me like a cute. <laughs> he, he, was, he was molesting me because he said, hey, you, 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 you are not a kid, you are not, you are a, a old man. You are playing like a kid. And then told her it was a desire, it was a, a wish that I had every time to have a train like this. And I and, and I enjoy my train. Yeah as an adult okay very good very good anecdote very good 
Thank you, Ali, for sharing that information. And it's good, right? If you want something or if you like something like trains and different toys, even if you're you're an adult, uh, probably you you will still like them, right? It yes. doesn't matter if you're a kid or if you're an adult. Very good. Perfect. So we were going to talk about uh, these trends now. And yesterday we were mentioning some of them. And um, actually we have a video. I guess that you already watched a video in the platform. So uh, this video, it's I think it's about teleconferences, but we are going to watch it. So I ask, I I want you to check these uh, questions. It says, "What is the video about? What is uh, what do you think about teleconferences? And do you think cyberspace will change in the future? And how do you apply this into your daily life?" So we are going to. We are going to watch the video right now. Let me check here. So we are going to watch this video and we are going to answer the questions, okay? I guess that you already watched this, but we are going to rewatch it just once. Finally from us, the virtual office for- Are you able to listen to it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Better or worse, technology and globalization are creating startling changes in what it means to be on the job. Betsy Stark is tracking the new order of business, and tonight begins our series, The Future of Work. Imagine a work world with no commute, no corporate headquarters, maybe no office in the physical world at all. For Bob Flavin, Janet Hoffman, and Joseph Jaffe, the future is already here. These days we do so much stuff by teleconferences and things um, that it doesn't matter where you are. Like 42% of IBM's 350,000 employees, Bob Flavin rarely comes into an IBM office. We don't care where and how you get your work done. We care that you get your work done. On the day we met him, he was collaborating with computer scientists in British Columbia and Beijing from the on-call room of his local ambulance corps, where he works as a volunteer. You are in 6031. The workforce at the Accenture management consulting firm is so mobile, not even the CEO has an office with his name on the door. There's no corporate headquarters. No. If you need a workspace, you reserve it like a hotel room, checking in and out at a kiosk. Having a big desk is a sign of status with lots of family photos and, uh, you know, and, and carpeting that's fluffy and nice. Is, uh, that is, is a vision of the past. Come on into the theater. In the future, more companies with scattered workforces and clients may do what the crayon marketing firm has done and make their headquarters in cyberspace. Here's our little rooftop. We had our holiday party here. Crayon's workers rarely meet in the physical world. I am uh, in Boston today. And I am on Long Island today. But their alter egos in the virtual world gather once a week. We're here in, uh, in our boardroom, and uh, you're here actually at the tail end of a status meeting. I never met Crayon's CEO in person. There you are. But we spent a couple of hours together in cyberspace. Our belief is that if we bring like minds together, no matter where they are in the world, we can actually create that connectedness as if we're actually here at the same place at the same time. If what matters is what you do, not where you are, who needs an office? Betsy Stark, ABC News, Crayonville in cyberspace. And tomorrow, imagine having summers off every summer. That is World News for this Monday. I'm Kate Snow. For Charles Gibson and all of us at ABC News, have a good evening. Good night. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to check what was this video about. What was the video about? The video was about the, the virtual, uh, well, it's, it is an enterprise that is called Crayon. Crayon. Um, uh, the, the manager, the, exec, the executive that work in that uh, enterprise are in different places of the world giving teleconferences, tele -web -web webinars. And it doesn't matter where they, 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 they be or they stay, 
they are working without stopping and they talk about the future they are going to they are going to develop this kind of, uh, of um, technology virtual conference and and with robot I, I i look robots robots like means that was working in the in the companies that what i understood Okay, very good. Exactly. Excellent. Elio Fentes. Very good. Actually, that was about like technology, right? That you don't have to uh, go to your office anymore. You don't have to be in, in that place specifically to get your job done. You can do it from your house or you can do it like tell it like uh, okay. working from home, right? Uh, Raphael, what do you think about teleconferences? Are they useful? Are they are they're, they're not that useful? Or what do you think they are, are a good idea? Well, in this in this time is a good idea, uh, because uh, everything everything uh, every 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 works. Uh, uh, them do it up online, and and. and and this and uh, nos facilita. How do you say? It gets easier for us. Yeah. Uh, uh, our work, uh, the the business is is more more easy. Is uh, and the communication is more more effective mm -hmm. and and in this day it's, it's so important and it's a great idea i think about this yes i think that is it's good right it's a good option because for example right now we're having classes but everybody is not in the same place right right you are in your house or probably you're somewhere else where you are able to communicate and to tell your ideas and also to study English through teleconferences, right? Uh, let's see, Rodrigo, do you think cyberspace will change in the future? Yes or no? Rodrigo, are you there? Okay, let's see another one. Uh, let's see, Zero. Are you there, Zero? Let's see another person. Elisa. Yes, yes, teacher. I'm here. Zero. Okay, very good. Zero, what do you think about cyberspace, like internet? Do you think that will change in the future? Do you think it will stay the same? Yes, the, the, the advance of technology is a uh, uh, step great because the future uh, about the technology I, the, I, they control every everything the and the house and the world and the every everything yes exactly technology is in everywhere everywhere right it's in our houses it's in our tv it's in our cell phone yes very good exactly i think that uh, everything will be more technological probably and the last question, how do you apply this into your daily life? Let's see, Elizabeth. Are you there, Elizabeth? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. How do you apply this, like teleconferences and this kind of technology into your daily life? Well, I have been working virtually for three years ago. Mm -hmm. And actually i use every day with this um and i i will um i usually work with this so that's oh my work is virtual <laughs> all your job is is like in the computer right yes Usually. Exactly. So that, that didn't happen before, right? You have to go, but with all the situation that happened about the pandemic and everything, and that was really useful. Technology was really useful. Very good. 
Perfect, Elizabeth. Thank you for sharing. Let's see, Sandra Moreno. Yes, go ahead, Sandra. Uh, teacher, este, I see in the Latin America is is uh, no apply technology uh, that in the other continent there are uh, I uh, uh, because in some country uh, apply the technology in the daily life mm -hmm. like uh, uh, so, someday I saw the refrigerator mm -hmm. you can put the uh, like the computer but in the refrigerator and mm -hmm. this uh, give the list the grocery you need and, and buy and send to the, the, the market. Uh, but in in America, this technology uh, no, 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 está como, ay, se me olvidó. Yes, we don't uh, have that technology right yet. But in, in Asia, yes, it's more is uh, more advanced in the technology yeah. yes exactly actually uh we don't have a lot of technology that other countries have because probably uh, they are more they use it more and of course they they have developed different ways right to use technology internet refrigerators and home appliances to develop different things but probably in the future probably in 10 years you will be able to mm -hmm. to send your grocery list right to super selectos or la despensa de don juan and they will bring it to your house right probably yes in the closet too in the, the closet the, also yes uh, samsung had a closet but technology mm -hmm. and we can <laughs> We 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 will get to to obtain the my my ¿cómo se dice? outfit mm -hmm. but the closet is este advice mm -hmm. I need to to use mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only. okay mm -hmm. very good Sandra I didn't know that that you can get advice from your closet to dress and things like that i didn't know i will i will check that that's interesting right because sometimes we don't know what to wear but with the technology i think that everything will be possible perfect thank you for your opinion now we are going to check the lesson objective for today it says in this class you will listen to a conversation about world history notice how they make reference to time in the past so this is the conversation. I think you have heard, heard it before. I don't know if you want to listen to it. Do you want to listen to the conversation? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So we are going to listen to the conversation. I guess this is the conversation. Join us one. Do you know when World War I began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know the answers, type them in. Okay, so we are going to listen to the conversation. Then if you have any question about pronunciation or meaning of this conversation, we are going to check it. And then we are going to practice, okay? We are going to practice like two or three couples or three uh, pairs. We are going to practice this conversation. So let's listen to it. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. 
How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So, what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945 following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960 and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. Okay, very well. So uh, we are going to check the, let me see here, the conversation. Do you have any questions about this conversation? Preguntas? Questions about pronunciation or meaning? No questions? No? Okay, we are going to check right now the pronunciation again, okay? It says, look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. So 20th, right? 20th. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right, first question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Uh, and how long has the United Nations been in existence? Since Kennedy became president in 1961. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. So you see, this is the pronunciation. We are going to practice right now. And I just need two volunteers, please. Dos voluntarios que quieran practicar, por favor. The pronunciation. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, who said me? Cesar? Yes. And Elizabeth. Okay, so Elizabeth, you start. And then, Cesar, you continue. Okay. okay. Look, her a quiz on event of the uh, 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began at night, 19... Uh, uh, it's, it's 70. Mm. And how long had the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Uh, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started at 1964 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Mm, not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Very yeah. good. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Uh, do you have any questions about uh, the um, the words and the conversation? Preguntas? Um, 12th century? 20th century, okay. Uh, 20th century is como siglo 20, ¿verdad? Century, centuria. And 20th, 20. La, la centuria 20, la vigésimo 20, ¿verdad? So okay. that, would, that would be 20th century, el siglo 20, algo así. Another one? What does it give mean? It, yes, tell you. Give it a try. Uh. Give it a try. Give it a try. Try. Give it a try. Like, I will try. Voy a probar, ¿verdad? Voy a probar. Or if I, if I tell you, give it a try. Que intente, ¿verdad? 
So I let me give it a try. Déjeme intentar, ¿verdad? Very good, perfect. Uh, it says here, since Kennedy, right? What is the meaning of since? Desde. Desde. Exactly. Desde que Kennedy se convirtió en presidente, ¿verdad? And uh, uh, here is, uh, this is difficult to, to pronounce. Answer, right? Answer. Como que le quitáramos la W. w. Answer. So that's, that's okay. Perfect. Uh, does anybody want to practice? Anybody else? Okay, me, teacher. Okay, Eliu. And who wants to help Eliu? Me. Okay, you that Eliu. okay Rafael. You begin, <laughs> Eliu, and then Rafael continues. Look, here is a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War One begin? Begin. I, I think it began in 1917. Oh, and how long had the United Nations been in existence? Um, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Mm. Next question: How long were the Beatles together? Well. They started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for uh, 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Not very well. No one your answer is correct. Perfect, very good, very good. Perfect, perfect pronunciation, perfect intonation also. Very good, Beatles together, existence, very good, perfect. So here, they we're talking about history, right? History things or uh, periods in history like World War I or World War I, uh, uh, United Nations, right? Uh, the Beatles, right? Different things during history. Very good, perfect. So uh, we are going to check this later, probably tomorrow. This is a quiz about a show right so we are going to listen to it again tomorrow probably and uh, this this is the grammar it says referring to time in the past como podemos referirnos en el pasado hace tantos años o desde hace tantos años o por tantos años verdad how how can we say that in english so to refer a point of time in the past we can say during, right? Durante, during the 1940s, during, right? Or in the 1940s, en los 40, ¿verdad? In the, or 60 years ago, hace 60 años. If I say over 60 years ago, más de 60 años. So over 60 years ago, right? So we can say, uh, we can use these words during, in, and ago. Also, we have a period of time in the past, right? How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970, right? De 1960 a 1970. So the years, we can say it in, uh, in pairs, right? Podemos decir los años en parejas. 1960, 1970, remember that. We can say 1960, but that is not very common. So for years, it's in pairs, right? So from 1960 to 1970 or for 10 years, por 10 años, it's the same, it's the same. Also a period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945, desde 1945, since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years, for uh, los últimos 60 años, aproximadamente, ¿verdad? For about the last 60 years. Estas palabras, since, uh, for, uh, we use it in a period of time that continues into the present. So, it, 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 for example, in this question, it says, how long has the United Nations been in existence? So, it means that the United Nations, they are still exist, right? They began in 1945, but they are still current, that they are still active. So uh, we can use these kind of words. We have more examples here below. For example, when was the first video game console released? 
during the 1970s, in the 1970s, or over 40 years ago. How long were the Beatles together? Is the same from 1960 to, 19, to 1970? Or for how long has Washington DC been the capital of the United States? Since 1800 or for about 220 years. It's the same, but it's, it's, we're saying it with different words, right? Desde qué época Washington DC ha sido la capital de los Estados Unidos? Desde los 1800 o por más o menos 220 años. So we are saying the same, but with different words. So we are going to practice uh, right now. It says, uh, this is extra information or referring to time in the past. We use a go from to during in for talk or to talk about past finished actions. Use since for to talk about an action that started in the past and continues in the present. Entonces vamos a ocupar since y for para hablar de una acción que empezó en el pasado y aún continúa en el presente. I moved here 10 years ago. So it means that I'm still living here, right? But I, I moved here 10 years ago. I have worked for this company since 2018, but I'm still working in this company. So I can use since uh, ago also or for, right? If I finish an action already, if the action already passed, right? For example, it says, Pokemon became popular in 1998. Color TV was invented in or during the 1950s. Google was founded 23 years ago. I was in high school from 2008 to 2011. Trujillo ruled the Dominican Republic for 31 years. So we are talking about past events and we can use all of these words, right? In, during, ago, from, to, and for. Actions or things that continue in the present. Women have competed in the Olympics since 1900. Nayib Bukele has been the president of El Salvador since 2019. Barack and Michelle Obama have been married for 20 years. And the last one is the United States has been independent for 234 years. So you see, since, right? And for for actions that still continue in the present. Do you have any questions, preguntas? Preguntas acerca de estas palabras? Questions about ago, since, during, for? No questions? Okay, now we're going to pay attention to, to historic events or events in history, right? Now, achievement, we are going to uh, learn vocabulary. Achievement is something done successfully with effort, skill, or courage. For example, the creation of the COVID-19 vaccine was a great achievement. What is the meaning of achievement in Spanish? ¿Qué significa achievement? What is the meaning? Acontecimiento. Logro. Acontecimiento. O logro, ¿cuál de los dos? Logro. Logro, achievements. For example, uh, if you graduate from high school, right, that is one achievement, right? So it's something done successfully with effort, skill, or courage. Achievement, right? Let's see the next one. Assassination. You see how it is spelled? A-S-S-A-S-S. I-N-A-T-I-O-N. -S -S -I -I it's a difficult word to write. Assassination. The act of killing an important person, such as politicians, celebrities, royalty, etc. Uh, for example, Gandhi's assassination happened in New Delhi, India, in 1948. What is the meaning of assassination? What is the meaning of that word? Asesinato. Asesinato. Asesinato, exactly. Discovery. Discovery. I have a is... question with that. Yes. Uh, why assassination is mentioned when uh, an important person, only when it's an important person, but he's only for for all person, right? 
assassination in general? Uh, yes, exactly. Yes, assassination. Okay. It can be an, an assassination or a murder, right? But this is just like um, uh, a definition of many, right? This is one definition, but it can be mm -hmm. done uh, with regular people, not only celebrities, right? Or famous people. For example, to the assassination of president is a magnitude. Yes, uh, exactly. Yes, we have what? different different words, right, to describe one event. Mm -hmm. to, to kill a father is parricide. Parricidio. Parricidio, yes, exactly. Elio knows a lot of words, you see. <laughs> Elio <laughs> knows a lot, yes, exactly. But very... you, you see low that word. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yes, assassination, it can be the assassination of someone, uh, our friend or a relative. It, it, can, uh, it, it doesn't have to be someone famous. Very good. Very good question. Discovery, the process of finding information, a place or an object for the first time. Edward Jenner discovered the first vaccine. So discovery, what is the meaning of discovery in, in Spanish? Descubrir. Dis descubrir o descubrimiento? Like descubrimiento. Descubrimiento, right? To discover is discubrir. That is the verb, to discover. But teacher, discovery is the noun. Teacher, what's the meaning of vaccine? Vaccine? Vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. like the yeah, vaccine, like the ones for tetanus, like se ponen para el tetano. Vaccine? Vacuna. Vacuna, exactly. Very good. So Edward Jenner discovered the first vaccine. You see, that is a discovery. Election, a time when people vote in order to choose someone for a political or office official job. Obama was the first black candidate to win the U.S. presidential election. What is election? Votación. Elecciones, Elecciones. Right? Votaciones. exactly, very good, perfect. Epidemic, epidemic is a particular disease that seriously affects many people at the same time. It says people are being more careful because of a new epidemic. What is epidemic? COVID-19. Yes, yes COVID-19, right? Epidemia, right? Very good. So there's a difference between epidemic and pandemic, but Yes, we can we can consider epidemic like COVID-19. Natural disaster, a natural event such as a flood, earthquake, or tsunami that kills or injures a lot of people. Example, every year, natural disaster destroys many homes. So what is a natural disaster? What is that? Desastre natural. Desastre natural. Very good. What is the last natural disaster that we have in El Salvador that you remember? Julia Storm. Yes, Tormenta Julia, La Julia Storm. Very good. Exactly. Yeah, many places were flooded, right? Exactly. What is the meaning of flood? Flood is like this one, the picture. Ah, okay, okay. Flood. That is a flood, yes. Everything is flooded. Tormenta, that, como una tormenta o huracán. Like, when, you, when there's a lot of water and it's está inundado, ¿verdad? It's inundación. Flood, inundación, exactly. Floods, inundaciones. Very good. Let's see another one. It says, a revolution, a successful attempt by a lot of people to change the political system of their country by force. The French Revolution inspired the Haitian Revolution. What is the meaning of revolution? Revolution. Revolution, exactly, revolution. Terrorist act, a violent action for political or religious reasons. On September 11th, some terrorist acts kill thousands of people. What is the meaning of terrorist act? Actos terroristas. Actos terroristas. 
Yes, acto terrorista. This is a terrorist act, right? That's the, the, the word to describe this kind of events, terrorist act. Perfect. And here we have another conversation. Probably we will be able to practice it today. Do you have any questions about this? Preguntas acerca de esto? Questions about the new vocabulary? No questions? Okay, remember that this vocabulary, you will use it, okay? Probably in the next class. Yes, you, you will use this uh, vocabulary for next class, okay? So try to practice. Now we are going to listen to a conversation about a quiz show. Actually, this is for uh, historical events, right? And we are going to check the right, the right, uh, the correct answer for these questions. Let's see. It says, when was the first home video game console released? How long has Washington DC been the capital of the United States? How long were the Beatles together? When did World War I take place? Okay, so we are going to listen and we are going to check the answers. Okay, let's see here. Let me see if I'm able to play it. Unit 10, a matter of time. Page 64, exercise two. Perspectives, quiz show, part B. Now listen and check your answers. What information is the most surprising? 1. When was the first home video game console released? B. In 1972. 2. How long has Washington, D.C. been the capital of the United States? C. Since 1800. 3. How long were the Beatles together? B. For 10 years. 4. When did World War I take place? A. During the 1910s. Okay, perfect. Did you have the answers? Did you write it down? Yes. Okay, yes. so let's see. Number one, when was the first home video game console released? In 1972. 1972. 1972. Remember, yes, the years in Perth, right? 1972. Perfect. Number two, how long has Washington, D.C. been the capital of the United States? Since 1800. Very good. Since 1800. When you see these uh, years here, cuando miren 1800, you can say, 1900, 1800, that's correct. Number three, for how long were the Beatles together? For, for 10 years. years. For 10 years, exactly. And four, when did World War I take place? During, during the, the 19, 1910s. Exactly, during the 1910s. Exactly, perfect. Now we are going to check uh, this conversation. I guess that this conversation is related to what we have been studying. Let me see here. And it's about uh, discoveries, right? So it says, would you want to spend a vacation in space? No, thanks. I'd rather go to the beach. Would you? Of course I would. I stay longer too. Do you think we'll have colonies on Mars in 20 or 30 years? I don't know. Considering how fast we're destroying Earth, we won't be living here for much longer. I'm serious, you know. International space agencies are investi investing a lot of money in research to develop more powerful rockets. Well, I guess that within 50 years, we'll have set up a research centers on Mars but not a colony. You're probably right. 
but I'm sure some company will have built a resort on the moon by then. And I'll be their first guest. Now, do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas de esta conversación? Research. Uh, let's see, research. Research. Yes. Uh, where is it? Let me see here. International space. Ah, okay. Are investing a lot of money in research. Research is like in investigation, right? Investigation. Okay. The meaning of powerful rock. Powerful rockets. Powerful rocket. A uh, more power rocket is like the one in the picture, right? Cohete, Cohete. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Another one. You understood the rest? The rest is okay? Yes. Any pronunciation? Okay. So we are going to listen to it and then we are going to practice, okay? For the people who hasn't participated. Para los que no han participado, traten de participar uh, to be volunteers just to finish the class for today. So let me see if I have it here. Okay, I have it here. Hello, guys. Welcome to. Let me look for the conversation. Just one moment, please. Okay, this is the conversation. I will play it, okay? Page 67. Exercise 9. Conversation. I'll be their first guest. Part A. Listen and practice. Would you want to spend a vacation in space? No, thanks. I'd rather go to the beach. Would you? Of course I would. I'd stay longer, too. Do you think we'll have colonies on Mars in 20 or 30 years? I don't know. Considering how fast we're destroying the Earth, we won't be living here for much longer. I'm serious. You know, international space agencies are investing a lot of money in research to develop more powerful rockets. Well, I guess that within 50 years, we'll have set up a research center on Mars, but not a colony. You're probably right. But I'm sure some company will have built a resort on the moon by then, and I'll be their first guest. Okay, perfect. Are you ready to practice, or do you want to listen to it one more time? Are you ready to practice? Okay, who wants to uh, start right now with this conversation? ¿Quién quiere eh, ser voluntario para la conversación? Two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Ciro. Who wants to help Ciro? Me. Okay, Rafael. Ciro, you begin, and then Rafael continues. Do you want to spend a vacation in space? No, thanks. I'd rather go to the beach. Will you? Oh, of course. I wouldn't. I stay longer. To, do you think we will have colony in March in 20 or 30 years? I don't know. Considering how fast we're destroying it, we won't be living here for much longer. In serious? You know, international space agencies are investing a lot of money in research to develop more powerful rockets. Well, I guess I guess that within 50 years, well, we will have set up a research center on Mars, but not a, but not a colony. You are probably right, but I'm sure some company will have will will build a resort on the moon by then. I the be their first guess. Very good, perfect. Remember, uh, this is a vacation, right? The words that end in T I O N. Las palabras que terminen en T-I-O-N 
vacation, vacation. right? On vacation. Uh, let's see another one. I had another one here, international, right? International. Um, yes, this kind of awards, right? Vacation, exploration, international. Very good. And also it's longer, right? Longer. I'd stay longer too, right? Uh, we won't be living here for much longer, right? Very good. Perfect. Other two, other two volunteers, otros dos voluntarios. Me, teacher. Okay, Sandra Patricia, who wants to help Sandra? Volunteers? Oh. Okay, Elizabeth. So, Sandra, you begin and Elizabeth continues. Perfect. Okay, okay. Would you want to spend a vacation in space? No, thanks. I really to go to the beach. Will you? Of course, I would. I stay longer too. Do you think we'll have colonies on Mars in 20 or 30 years? I don't know. Consider how fast we're destroying here. We won't be, be, be leaving her for much longer. I'm serious? You know, international space agencies are investing a lot of money in research to develop more powerful rockets. Well, I guess that within 50 years, we'll have set up a research center of Mars, but not a colony. You are probably right, but I'm sure some company will have a build a resort on the moon by then and I will their first get. Very good, perfect. So let's see here. It says uh, space agencies. What is the space agencies? What is in Spanish the meaning of that? those words? Space, no, NASA. NASA. like NASA, right? Uh -huh. Agencias Espaciales, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, develop. What is the meaning of develop? Desarrollar. Desarrollar. Desarrollar, exactly. And resort. We'll have to build a resort, right? We'll have built a resort. What is the meaning of resort? Hotel. Like a hotel. Yes, like a hotel, like the Cameron, right? That is a resort. And what is the meaning of guest? I'll be their first guest. Hotel. Invitado, right? Westbed, exactly. Guest, Westbed. Very good. Perfect. So uh, let's see here. I have a question, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Elio. In Oscar, when in the end of the sentence, would you, is a tag ending or is a e tu? Or es verdad? Which one? No thanks, I'd rather to go to the beach. Would you? Yes, exactly, would you? No thanks, I'd rather to go to the beach. Would you? Like, would you like to go, right? Yes, of course I would, right? Yes, exactly. A tag and question. Very good. Perfect. Now, uh, for tomorrow, we will have, well, this is about the conversation. And this is another exercise that we will complete tomorrow. But tomorrow, I want you to uh, investigate about historical events. We're going to talk about, I don't want you to read. No quiero que lean, right? Like a page. I want you to describe it with your own uh, words, que lo digan, me lo digan con sus propias palabras. It can be any event. It can be, for example, the death of the queen, right? Uh, recently happened. The World Cup, if you like sports, um, the pandemic, right? Probably how you live the pandemic or any natural disaster. Probably a, an event that you like, for example, the landing of the moon. Uh, also, we have historical events from our country. We have positive and negative things like the war. Probably you live or you, you like this kind of topic. Also, history, right? Like what happened with the pyramids from Mayas, right? What, what happened? Why they disappear or uh, where did they go, right? Or also another country, right? For example, the Taj Mahal. That is uh, the structure that you can see here. And you can investigate a little bit of that. You can read a little bit and you can tell me with your own words uh, what happened in uh, that moment, right? 
if you can use the vocabulary that we uh, studied today, for example, four since ago, all of all of these, uh, all, of this all of this grammar, all of these, um, uh, yes, the grammar words that we investigated, right? Pero quiero que me lo digan ustedes, ¿verdad? Quiero que me lo digan con sus propias palabras. Do not read. And we are going to finish right now. I don't know if you have any question about the platform. Preguntas de la plataforma. Any problem that you have had. Any question. Because this is the last week. So I don't want you to have any problem, right? Preguntas, questions about the platform. The final exam or section five. No, teacher. No questions. Perfect. No, thank you. Okay, perfect. So tomorrow we are going to talk about historical events. We are going to practice a little bit more the grammar with these exercises. And we are going to have also, well, this is just extra information about the pronunciation. And we are going to continue with the topic. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your commitment. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, have a nice night. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow.